I am Devani Rishpande from 8th standard. Today I will tell you about chapter, uh, subject science chapter number 2 microorganisms strengths and hope. You can see you can see around you many living organisms like plants and animals with your naked eyes but apart from this there are other living organisms which we cannot see with our naked eyes. These organisms are known as microorganisms. In simple way, we can say that the organisms which are single celled cannot be seen with naked eyes and only uh, be seen with the help of a microscope is known as microorganism. After the invention of microscope, it was found that the microorganisms are found everywhere. Microorganisms can be found in air, water, soil, marshy lands, and even in extreme conditions also. Microorganisms are uh, microorganisms can survive in uh, severe condition like uh, in the cracks of sea floor, uh, volcanic eruption, hot springs, hot desert, snow, uh, and even in deep oceans also. They become they are inactive uh, when the when such extreme conditions uh, are there and become active when the conditions become favorable for them. They form a hard layer outer covering around them which is known as cyst. They do this to protect themselves from the extreme conditions. Microorganisms can be classified into five groups. Fungus, bacteria, algae, protozoa, and viruses. Virus. This is a bacteria. This is a mushroom, which is a fungus. This is amoeba, which is a protozoa. This is spirogyra, which is an algae. And last, it is a virus which is bacteriophage. Now you saw the five major groups of microorganisms. The useful and harmful effects of microorganisms. They are useful in many ways. They are used for making curd, cheese, idli, dhokla and other uh, food products. They are also used for preparation of alcohol and as well as alcoholic drinks. They are especially used for making antibiotics and vaccines. Bacteria and fungi are the two microorganisms which are mainly used for making antibiotics. But there are harmful microorganisms also. The microorganisms are uh, can spoil the food and also they can uh, cause diseases also. The microorganisms which cause diseases are known as pathogens or germs. To cause disease, they have to first enter in our body. So they can they enter through air, water, food insects and as well as direct contact also. By sneezing or coughing uh, of infected person, the healthy person can be get infected by the disease. Means nowadays you can see the coronavirus is spreading like that only. By coughing, sneezing or the uh, contact of healthy pers uh, infected person to healthy person. Then uh, the microorganisms can also spoil the food and the bacteria is mostly responsible for that. The, uh, micro uh, the microorganisms like bacteria uh, spoil food, uh, means soaring, uh, soaring of milk, uh, rotting of vegetables and fruits, and uh, other ex uh, food products. To stop, uh, means to stop the Thumb. to stop the growth of microorganisms, we have to use uh, preservatives, and there are different different methods to preserve the food, like heating, pasteurization. Uh, refrigerating and uh, uh, chemical preservatives like salt, sugar, oil and vinegar. So my